Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create this effect. Okay, so this is actually an effect from the movie A Walk Among the Tombstones, uh, which I saw uh, earlier this week. So I'm going to quickly show you guys how you can do that effect. So first of all, what you will need is a picture of a newspaper like this one. I just Googled a newspaper front page and I found this one. And then you also need a some kind of video clip that you're going to use. So first of all, we're going to create a new uh, composition in After Effects and I'm going to create an HD composition. And then what you want to do is you want to drag in your uh, newspaper image and I'm just going to zoom out here a little bit so we can see the, the full composition size. And then I'm going to just zoom in a little bit so that fills the, uh, the space that we're going to work with. And I'm going to take this picture here and replace this with the video file that I've got. So then you drag in your video footage on top of the newspaper and then resize that holding down shift to uh, actually keep the, the aspect ratio similar. And then just position that over that image. Then what you want to do is you want to drop the opacity of that video clip. So click on the video clip, press T for opacity and just drop it a little bit so you can see the image behind it. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw a mask area. So we're just masking out that background image. So on your video clip, when you highlight it, click on the uh, rectangle mask tool and just mask out around this picture, something like that. If it's not perfect, don't worry. We're going to expand that mask. So go into your mask properties and let's change the mask expansion to around five pixels and that should cover the photo. Okay, let's change the opacity back to 100. And then if you play this back, you will have your video clip uh, kind of playing inside uh, that picture area. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna find the spot where you actually wanna freeze frame. So let's say we wanna freeze frame right there. So you wanna highlight your clip, click on edit, and then you wanna click on split layer. And that will actually create a duplicate layer from that frame um, that you actually highlighted. So we can go to that first frame and on that second clip that you duplicated, right click, go to time and then click on freeze frame. Right, so then you've got your video playing and then it's going to freeze frame on that, um, on that frame that you selected. So let's just rename these uh, clips. So the top one I'm going to rename to still frame, something like that. And this one is just going to be called video. Okay, there we go. Let's just minimize those settings. Okay, so now it's got your video playing and it's going to freeze frame right there. All right, second thing you want to do is let's change this to black and white. So you're going to go to your still frame, go to effects, go to color correction and go to tint. So make sure that's 100. So you've got a black and white image. So if you play this back, you'll see it's going to go from color straight into black and white. So what you want to do is you want to fade gradually from color into black and white. So what you will do with the video layer is right click on that, go to effects, go to color correction, go to tint as well. And then we want to animate our amount of tint. So first set that to zero, click on the stopwatch, make sure you're a couple of frames, like a second almost before you do the freeze frame. Um, and then go forward until that last color frame and change the amount to tint up to 100. So if we play this back, you'll see it's going to gradually go from color into black and white and it's going to freeze frame. Okay, so we're almost there. So next up, you're going to create a camera. So go to new and then camera. Default settings should be fine. And then make sure you change all your um, other layers to 3D layers. Just enable that. And then on your camera, you want to go into the settings, into transform and tick the stopwatch for both the point of interest and the position. Make sure you zoom out so you can see the full size of your composition now. Uh, so just go to fit here at the bottom. And then we want to zoom in here using um, the track Z camera tool. So just zoom in a little bit and also use your uh, track X and Y for the camera tool. Position that and try and get it so that the video actually fills the screen. Maybe uh, you can go over the edges a little bit. So we're going to zoom in slightly, something like that. 
and then we're going to move forward just before it kind of freeze frame so right about kind of there and we're going to create another keyframe so you're going to go to your track z camera tool just zoom out slightly so you can still see the video kind of in full screen just reposition it slightly and then you want to go just over where uh, it goes onto the second layer go to your track z camera tool zoom out quite a bit and let's just move in a little bit let's zoom out more and then you want to track uh, the x and y again for the camera tool maybe to the side so you can see it's a it's a kind of newspaper article and then you've got the basic effect it's not perfect yet one more step that you want to do is you want to highlight all your keyframes and then right click go to keyframe interpolation i think by default this will be set to bezier so make sure it's on linear click on ok and then one more thing you can do is just right click on these keyframes again go to keyframe assist and change it to easy ease that will just smooth it out a little bit so if we play it back now you've got your uh, camera movement or your actual video playing and it's going to zoom out slightly it's going to fade into black and white and then it's going to pull back and it's going to reveal that you're actually looking at a newspaper article Right, that's basically that. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And if you want to see more, click on the subscribe button. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, bye.